saw a parade last week. Flags, snappy uniforms, and all that. And it kind of got you, huh? So right away you think, I gotta enlist. And all of a sudden you're filled with that, I gotta do my part feeling. Is that what happened, Howie? Is that it? I know how you feel when you're in high school. But look, take a little advice from your older and considerably more mature brother. <laughs> yeah, I see you wince at that word advice. But I also remember a number of times when you did come to me for advice. So settle down and listen a little while to your big brother Bill. I wish I could talk to you instead of writing you this long letter from camp. But I think I can cover most of the things I want to say. Try to get the picture now, Howie. I've been in the Citizen Army for seven months, doing my part, as you put it. And you think enlisting is the only way you can do your part. That's not quite so. There are a lot of ways you can do your part. And I don't mean enlisting before you're finished with school. No. Doing your part is a full-time job that you can work at right now. Fact is, you've been working at it all along. At home and at school. Know what that job is called? Good citizenship. Good citizenship? What was that you said, Howie? Oh, I was just reading something here that Bill said in his letter, Mom. Yes, what did he say in his letter? Well, it's, it's about service and citizenship. It's kind of a serious letter. Oh. Never thought I'd be writing to you about citizenship. But it's a big idea. Don't ever forget it. Let me put it this way. Why do you think I'm here, Howie? Me and thousands of other guys. Why do you think we're giving all we've got? Mentally and physically. Day after day. What's the idea behind all this sweat and toil? We're being trained to fight, if necessary, to defend our way of life. That's the answer. To defend our way of life. Why, well, it's as simple as that. And you know what that way of life is like. You've lived it. But what good is defending a way of life tomorrow if we forget to practice that way of life today? Get it? That's where the full-time job comes in. That's citizenship. That's where everyone can do his part all the time. Well, you're practicing good citizenship now. In your clubs and student associations, you're learning the responsibilities of self-government. You're getting first-hand experience with the democratic process. Elections, representation. In your other activities, you're learning about teamwork and obedience to rules, another part of citizenship, the idea of different fellows working together toward a common goal. Come to think of it, you're getting the same training in citizenship that I got when I was in school. <laughs> Only I didn't think of it that way at the time. I can still see the definition of citizenship our class worked out. Citizenship is the earning of rights 
by fulfilling responsibilities. The earning of rights by fulfilling responsibilities. What was that, Howie? Oh, responsibilities, Mom, in, in Bill's letter. Let me finish it. Oh, may I read it when you're finished? Sure. We learned what some of these responsibilities were from Mom and Dad. Remember the day you got a ride to school with Dad and had time to stop at the poles with him? You told me later how much you were impressed seeing Dad and our neighbors there. Well, you said they seemed filled with a kind of pride. Know what that pride was, Howie? It was the pride of being good citizens. And remember that one evening, before I went into service, when you came home and... Hello, anybody home? Hi, Bill. Hello, Hello Howie. Howie. Come on. Still working on your PTA accounts? Yes. Books balance? They will. <laughs> it takes a lot of time, doesn't it? Why do you do it? Howie, this is my job. Maybe I'm not as skilled as I might be, but when I accepted the office of treasurer, I took on a responsibility. I have to meet it. It's my responsibility to the group. Responsibility to the group. That's a big lesson right there, Howie. We got more of that lesson the night we talked with Dad about citizenship. It was right after I went into the service. My first three-day pass. We all learn those things one way or another. Well, I've learned it this way. You can't take things out of life without putting something in. But I don't have to tell you that. You know it. We've got a good life here, boys. The way we live, the privileges we enjoy. But these things aren't all free. We pay for them in one way or another. Yes, Bill's starting to pay now, huh, Dad? Well, yes. Service is one kind of payment. Important, too. But it's only one of the responsibilities we have as good citizens. There are a lot of them. Paying taxes? Mm-hmm. Taxes, defense bonds. All part of earning the rights we enjoy. And don't forget serving on the jury. You gripe, but you went. <laughs> sure, jury service. And don't forget Mother's PTA work and my job with the Better Community Group. And your three years in the Navy in World War II. That's right. We both saw three years of service. Now, wait a minute. You weren't both in a... <laughs> well, Mom's right in a way, Howie. While I was in the Navy, she served right here, taking care of you and Bill, working at the USO, giving time to the Red Cross. All these things add up to service. What did you learn from your Navy service, Dad? Well, a lot of things, Bill. But I think the big lesson I learned was this. Service in the armed forces is the heaviest responsibility of citizenship. But I wasn't the only one who learned that. After all, I was just one of 15 million citizens who served in one way or another in World War II. Ordinary citizens called on to do a job. And why not? Why were we fighting? To defend our kind of citizenship. Dad was right, Howie. Service is a responsibility of citizenship, and it's just about the heaviest responsibility I've ever had so far. Funny thing. You know what helped me meet that responsibility? Practicing some of the very same ideas of citizenship that you're learning now. Working together as a team toward a common goal. Obeying the rules. Keeping informed, knowing what's going on around you. And accepting responsibility. Meeting your responsibility to the group. Well, I hope you understand what I've been writing. Well, it's pretty simple after all. My job is to meet the responsibilities of citizenship in the service. Your job is to meet the responsibilities of citizenship at home. My job, to meet the responsibilities of citizenship at home.
moment you'll be discussing these films as you do we ask you to remember just two ideas first this is but one group in the series and second we ask you to consider how these films can help the boys in your school and in the schools you serve are they ready for service can this film series help them as the dozens of leading educators and advisors who assisted with the films believe could they help you help this boy I don't want to go into service now I'm not ready what can I do one boy out of millions and helping them can begin here now in your discussion 